Well, type a few words, click send, and your message can be delivered to thousands. It sure can. That's where, where the, the world comes in in social media, of course, everything mixing together. It's not just positive messages that get spread around, too. Sometimes it feels like the hateful ones can tend to draw a huge reaction as well. As News Channel 3's Jatera McGee reports, it's that very lesson that two women in Clay County are learning this morning. Well, a Facebook post made by a Clay County woman has launched a social media firestorm, and the mayor's comments on that post have nearly 1,500 people asking for both of their resignations. In a viral world with just a few clicks, words can last forever, and they can reach far more than the intended audience. I think the tension started all from the election. You know, it wasn't about the election. It wasn't about Trump and Hillary. It was about black and white. Joe Murphy lives in Clay, West Virginia, a small town where word always travels quickly, especially on Facebook. A message posted on Pamela Taylor's account reads it will be refreshing to have a classy, beautiful, dignified first lady in the White House. I'm tired of seeing an ape in heels. The mayor of Clay, Beverly Whaling, replied, just made my day, Pam. Now this petition is calling for both women to lose their jobs. As of Sunday night, it has more than 1,500 signatures. Taylor is the director at the Clay County Development Corporation, a nonprofit funded by state and federal money. She says she's been reprimanded and doesn't know if she'll keep her job. I reached out for her side of the story. Hi, is this Pamela? She declined an on-camera or audio recorded interview, but during our conversation said she was sorry for everything that's happened. She says the aftermath of her post has become a hate crime against her. This is not the way I want my town portrayed. And Michelle Obama is an articulate, beautiful woman, and referring to her as an ape in heels obviously is a racial slur. Murphy says both women should apologize or... If that's how you feel, own it and accept the consequences. The words are hurtful to him because his granddaughter's black. She will be three in uh, December and uh, it's just the, the light of my life. Now, how do I look you in the face and say, hey, do you just mean certain black people or are you talking about my granddaughter too? He says Clay County needs to condemn racism and anyone who condones it. Don't let a couple of people who get singled out actually represent West Virginia. And he says his word is bond. And we reached out to the mayor numerous times on Sunday to try to get her side of the story. We still haven't heard back, but we will keep trying and we'll keep you posted. Guys, back to you. Now, we did receive a statement from Taylor, who posted a new message last night. In part, it reads, her post may be interpreted as racist, though she says it was no, in no way intended to be. She says she was referring to her personal opinion of the attractiveness, not to the color of one's skin.